Okay, now this is a very tricky question um, from past papers because it includes a tilted mirror. Now let's see um, what it means. So figure 3.1 shows a very large plane mirror inclined at 45 degrees to the horizontal beneath a pattern on a high ceiling of a wall. A pattern is a high ceiling, it is an angle, pe hai, angle 45 degree pe tilted. Hai. This is the mirror. और एक पॉइंट सीलिंग से ऊपर एक पॉइंट से लाइट रे आ रही है हमें बस इसका लाइट रेस ड्रॉ करनी है कि वेयर इट्स इमेज विल बी फॉर्म लेट्स सी इफ वी कैन समहाउ कीप दिस इन द इन द इन द फ्रेम फर्स्ट सो वी डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज आई हैव टू मूव लिटिल बिट हियर जस्ट टू एडजस्ट इट सो वी डोंट गेट कैरीड अवे विद द ड्राइंग देयर यू गो सो दैट्स पे काम करते हैं <clears throat> question I'll ask you have to trust me because then adjustment will be harder so so the question is on uh, figure 3.1 continue the ray R and S ye jo R and S ray R in point C se hume is figure 3.1 pin ko continue karna hai after they strike the mirror to mirror ko strike karenge to kis angle pe ye jane chahiye right reflection ka angle obviously kya banega और फिर उसके बाद हमने बताना है कि इनका जो क्या कहना चाहिए इमेज है वो कैसे फॉर्म होगा तो इसमें हम इमेज की तरफ बाद में जाएंगे फर्स्ट वी विल लोकेट व्हाट वुड हैपन नाउ देर टू वेज टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन सिंस दे हैव आस्ट अस अबाउट द एंगल तो मैं चाह रहा हूँ कि पहले मैं आपको ज़रा इसका प्रॉपर तरीका बता दूँ ताकि आप उस तरह से देख लें फिर मैं आपको इसका शॉर्टकट भी डिस्कस करूँगा आपके साथ सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू ड्रॉ नॉर्मल राइट सो ऑन टिल्टेड वट वी गन डू इज वट वी गन डू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू पुट द प्रोटेक्टर राइट सो पहले हम टिल्टेड और प्रोटेक्टर रखेंगे इस तरह उस पॉइंट ऑफ इंसिडेंस पे जहाँ पे लाइट रे आ रही है मेक श्योर दैट देर इज नो पैरालिक्स राइट एंड हेयर वी गन ड्रॉ नॉर्मल आई गन यूज द पेंसिल हेयर so here this is normal for this ray and let's draw normal for this one remember try to avoid any parallax which can occur because if you be casual at this point then it won't be right so so here you go there this is the normal for this one so let's draw normal first at the point of incidence so here the normal would be somewhere here right so it's a very small normal so we can easily draw the rest of the drawing so so here you go there is the normal with the green color i've just drawn now what's going to happen is let's find out their angles as well the angle of incidence because only then we can make their angle of reflection so to do that i'm going to put it again in the same zone and i'm going to measure this this angle of incidence right so the angle of incidence i can see here it's not exactly accurately there but but i can see it's it's between 60 and 50 here so if i come from here because i have to draw i have to measure that from normal normal says ko measure karna so 10 20 30 and 35 so if my angle of incidence is 35 what do you think my angle of reflection should be so in this case my angle of reflection should also be 35 so from here i'll go 10 20 30 and 35 over here right and just for the other one i'll use the other color so i scale it i'll see what's the angle of incidence here for me make sure again there's no parallax okay so this is like uh, broader so 1 10 10 20 30 40 and here you go you 45 so here it should also be 45 so there it is This is where it should end up. So let's make these ones with the. So I'm gonna draw the S. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna draw S with with orange. Right. So 
let's draw that one. Okay, slightly off, but give you the idea, right? And I'm gonna draw R with, with blue. Okay, there you go, this is the, the R. Reason I'm drawing with colored markers are because I have to make you understand. Otherwise, that's why it's always said that use pencil so you can erase it and it has to be very perfect. Now see, their normal is slightly little bit off, but you understand what I'm trying to say, right? So this is, by the way, this is R going at an angle. And this is S going at an angle. Now that's the first part which is done where they have asked us to continue R and S after they strike the mirror. Now the next part is on this figure show how these rays are used to locate the image of C and mark the mark and label the position of image with letter I. So now we have to basically tell how we can image the image. Right? Which is our actual work. So, so if we extend these lines in their angle right behind the mirror with the dotted line so at some point they are going to intersect right make sure that we do not change the angle so at some point they are going to intersect and that is the point where the image will be formed so this is the point what we are looking at the image all right so this is the right way to solve this question and uh, this is a bit, bit trickier though like isko dekhne ka ek aur tarika hai agar agar hum isko shuru se kisi aur tarike se karna chahte to hum kar sakte the aur wo kuch is tarah se hai ki agar main isko is question ko is tarah dekhu ki if i now now this question is done iska jo ye wale dono parts hain sirf ek part reh gaya pehle wo kar lete hain then i i help you understand in in, a, in an easier way pehle wo part kar lete hain the next part is state two characteristics of this image so hame pata hai ki ye image virtual hai right and it's of same size baaki hame pata hai hum kya kya keh sakte hain it's it's upright laterally inverted and iske ilawa it's same distance from the mirror as the object is Uh, the next part is suggest how the mirror helps visitors to the hall to see the pattern on the ceiling since it is um, at an angle it's inclined at 45 degrees so obviously um, at the ceiling all they need to do is they need to stand somewhere here so if they're they're standing here right the visitors uh, my my famous stick man So, so they can easily observe this. So, light waves are coming here, and then light rays are coming here. So, they can easily even even the kids, small kids, coming here, they can easily see what is happening on the on the ceiling. If there is a, a Leonardo da Vinci work or Michelangelo work, or if if there is it's happening in 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 our museum in Pakistan, so they can easily observe that. Now, the idea is, let's let's look at the the real thing how you can do it in other way so so uske liye main ye kahunga ki i will if if i i was doing it with other idea so main isko thoda sa thoda sa tarike se is mirror ko extend kar dunga for longer length right just to understand my uh, just to apply my understanding right now just imagining that right, this is this is the mirror here although i'm not going to do it really But just for the sake of understanding. Now, if you see here clearly, I'm not even aware that this this line this this should be flat though, right? It should be flat exactly on 180 degree. In other words, if I keep it like this, it will come a little bit more. I don't know if it will come. I don't know if it will come. I'll try my best to get it like this. So, what you should see is that this 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 line should be flat. जहाँ पर मेरा ऑब्जेक्ट है 
इमेज बिल्कुल उसी उतने ही डिस्टेंस पे ऑपोजिट साइड पे बनेगा तो पहले मैं इमेज को लोकेट कर लूँ और फिर उसके बाद वट एवर वी डू वी हैव द पॉइंट्स है सो इस इस जब पॉइंट एक दफ़ा लोकेट कर लिया तो मैं लाइन अपनी ड्रॉ कर सकता हूँ यहाँ पे डॉटेड लाइन बनेगी यहाँ पे सीधी लाइन बनेगी और वो ज्वाइन हो जाएंगी और ऑटोमेटिकली ये जो एंगल्स हैं ये मेरे पास सेम होंगे दिस इज़ वॉट वी वी वर डूइंग अर्ली सो वी वी कुड हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस ट्रिक यूर वे एज वेल अगर हमारे कॉन्सेप्ट ठीक है वरना वो तरीका भी इसमें काम करेगा आई होप दैट वॉज क्लियर फॉर एवरी वन